Hey, it's Mindy with Patriot Health Alliance, and welcome to the dog days of summer. You know the expression, and you know the feeling. The hot, sticky, sunny days where the sun is strong, it's hard to find a breeze, and it may even have you dreaming about cooler days ahead. But where did this phrase come from? Is there a certain part of summer that's the doggiest of dog days? And how can you get out and enjoy the summer with your best friend? while keeping him safe and healthy all along the way. Well, stay tuned and I'll answer it all for you. But before I do, be sure to take a sec to hit the subscribe button below. Then you'll be sure to get new videos like this one as soon as we make them. And if you have friends or loved ones with furry family members, share this video too. Every dog has his day and every one of them could use these tips to stay healthy and strong all summer long. The dog days of summer typically describes that period between July 3rd and August 11th, but how did it come to be called this? Well, some say the stifling heat of a really hot day isn't fit for a dog, or it's hot enough to make a dog go mad. But the real reason is this, during this time of year, the sun occupies the same part of the sky as Sirius. This is the brightest star visible from any place on Earth, and it's part of the constellation Canis Major, otherwise known as the Greater Dog. This is why Sirius is sometimes called the Dog Star. In the summer, Sirius rises and sets with the sun. The ancient Romans thought because it was so bright, it gave off extra heat and added to the sun's warmth. While that's not true, what actually makes it so hot is the tilt of the Earth. During summer, the tilt of the Earth means the sun's rays hit at a more direct angle for a longer period during the day. And that's why we get longer, hotter days. But that doesn't mean it's too hot to have fun. If you're going to enjoy the outdoors with your dog this summer, it's important to keep him safe, happy, energized, and hydrated. Definitely pack water and a collapsible water bowl so your dog has easy, regular access to stay hydrated. Your dog can't sweat. So keeping him hydrated is extra important. Certain breeds also have a harder time in the heat. So if you share your home with a pug, bulldog, or Pekingese, pay extra attention. Those short noses and fuzzy flat faces make cooling off by panting that much harder. Start slow and let your dog acclimate to the heat. Say you live in a cooler climate and you're taking your dog on a beach vacation. You definitely want to limit their time outdoors if they're not used to it. Take your walks in the early morning or evening when it's not quite as hot so they ease their way into the heat of the day. Of course, you should never leave your dog in a parked car, not even for a quick trip. It only takes 10 minutes for a car in 85 degree heat to reach over 100 degrees. In 20 minutes, it can get as hot as 120. Cracking the window does not work to reduce the heat. So if you can't take your dog with you, leave him at home. Be careful of the hot pavement too. A good rule of thumb is, if you can't keep your hand on the hot pavement for five seconds, your dog's feet can't handle it either. Make sure wherever you go, there's a place to relax in the shade if your dog needs to. That can mean bringing the shade with you like a canopy, tent, or umbrella. Now we all enjoy cooling off on a hot summer day with a dip in the pool or a run through the sprinkler, and your dog will too. Even a wet towel to lie on is a welcome treat to beat the heat. And while you may enjoy an ice cream cone or popsicle to cool off, you can give your pup frozen blueberries or peas, or make a popsicle with frozen beef or chicken broth. Trust me, your dog will love it. Good nutrition in the summer is as important as ever and will help keep itchy skin and dry coats to a minimum. By adding Patriot Greens for dogs to your dog's regular food, you're giving him a fantastic boost of energy, digestive support, joint relief, and more. Plus, they love the taste, no matter the season. Pay close attention to your dog if you're out in the heat. If you notice he's having trouble breathing, has a bright red tongue, heavy drooling or vomiting, or is looking unsteady or lethargic, get him out of the heat right away. Short-nosed dogs, long-haired dogs, and puppies are particularly susceptible to heat stroke, so be sure to watch them carefully and keep them safe. Okay, that's about all the time I've got for today. Again, be sure to hit the subscribe button and share this video with the dog lovers in your life. Plus, the details on Patriot Greens for Dogs are in the description below. So be sure to check it out. 
so your best friend has the health boost he deserves in just seconds a day. Even during the dog days of summer, there's plenty of places to explore and fun times to be had for both you and your dog. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay cool. Good night, right, Stella. Good night.